Hi, my name is Allie Gregg, and my unpopular opinion is that sometimes the movie is better than the book. Uh, this mostly stems from the book La Morte d'Arthur, which I think I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it's like French or something. And it goes back to a 1458 version of The Once a Future King, which was rewrote in 1958 by T.H. White. And that book is 600 pages of older English translated into newer English, but still super difficult to read. And I will stand by that any movie adaptation of that book is so much easier. Um, the opening is like 10 pages of describing an owl, and you don't know why you're being described an owl too, and I'm sure there's literary effects behind it, but in my opinion, the 1963 remake of The Sword and Stone from that book or the 2017 King Arthur Legend of the Sword with Charlie Hunnam and other famous actors. It's much better than having to read 600 pages of actual torture. Uh, let's also think about movie aspects that you can't have in books, like music. You can't have music in books, and music in movies makes things so much better. My favorites are like Da Vinci Code, which is a phenomenal book and movie, but in the movie, that music makes it everything that it is and Pride and Prejudice. There's so much beautiful music and composery behind it, especially like the big ballroom dance scene, which you would not get that effect without a movie. You lose details, yes, but you also gain a lot of details in the sense of you can see things that you would not be able to see in a book because you only have one perspective most times. Or if you have two perspectives, it's written in an odd manner sometimes. So it's a matter of like, when I can watch it, I can physically see like body posture and like tension between characters and I can appreciate actors versus in a book. I kind of, yes, you're left it up to create a freedom to imagine it in your own head, but the story can be mistranslated between people. So while you lose details, you gain some.